Well, every time I say this, and every time it's true, it got harder this time. The, the kids division, the youth division, uh, rivaled the adults again. But the, the, the degree of complexity to the adult flies was, it, it took us hours and we're not really speaking to each other right now because, well, I don't have to, but uh, it was so difficult. We were, it, it was all over the board. But we're gonna start with this. So this is the dry fly mayfly. And we had, uh, we had entries that were spectacular that weren't necessarily dry flies. Uh, I had a humpy that was as absolutely perfect as you can tie a fly, but we couldn't really classify it as a humpy. Uh, it was, that was something, mayfly. huh? It's a humpy, but not a mayfly. Yeah, oh, that's They're what I said. Fly. Yeah, I'm <laughs> dry fly, uh, mayfly. This was dry fly mayflies, what this one was. And we had, this was just, it was unbelievable. I mean, I, I can't tell you how, and we had uh, 32, um, 32 entries in the adult and 11 in the uh, youth. And so I'm gonna go through all the youth. We're gonna do, a, I'm gonna show you all these and we're gonna do a, I, I don't know, we can't do a close up with this, can we? We'll have it next hmm? on, the on the YouTube. Yeah. Okay. On tomorrow's. Uh, right. We're gonna do the YouTube close up on these tomorrow. We'll show everybody's. Uh, I am gonna go through and just name all the the youth off, uh, and and just in order, and then I'll come through. So we had Ben Furbaden, uh, Jackson, uh, Pikes, uh, Piles. I mean Justin Hardy. That's number three. Gavin Ruda, I think it is. And a lot of these people have been in before. I should know their names. I'm sorry if I mess it up. Uh, number five is Heather Mill. Uh, number six is Chase Myatt. Uh, seven is Trevor Klein. I believe that's how it is. And then down to eight is Ryan Graham and his brother Evan Graham is number nine. Number 10 is Jude Sesbra. Uh, Ses I don't know how you spell that one. How you say that one? Uh, read this for me. And number 11 is uh, Lane Bushman. And so there's, these are, these are all really, really cool flies. There's four of these in here that we were going to enter in the adult and not even tell them because they're so, they're so clean. But, uh, and there, there seemed to be a theme on this one. Uh, and the entire, every one is Wally wings are in. And so there was a ton of Wally wings in these. And so this one's gonna go, this one got, this one was kind of all over the board. This one was, and just so you know how we do this, and, and we're trying, we're, we are desperately trying to come up with a, a formula for this. Uh, I'm, I'm basing mine how I do, and I'm this tiebreaker. I didn't have to do, I didn't have to break a tie, period. But uh, I'm using it basically how we did taxidermy. Uh, and, and if I can find one thing wrong, and so I put, I put everybody's name down, every number, every fly. And then what I do is I go through, see if I can find mine. And I just put a, I put a one, a minus one or a minus two beside it. Where the hell did it go? I don't know. It's in here somewhere. It's right here. I just put, I put numbers and I put, you know, anything because we literally, we spent an hour and nobody could make a move. Not one, we, we just kept going, man, this one's perfect, this one's perfect. And so we start looking and we find, try to find one thing wrong. So you got every top 10, we got every one, if you got one off. And then if we, then you look and you look and you say, yeah, but it's the degree of difficulty. So now we go, is there one thing, let's say your tails are split and there's three, and one's not quite split perfect. You gotta find something, right? And then, then we got to add in the degree of difficulty and then creativity and things like that. And so it, it just, it's, it's absolutely insanely difficult to do this. And so when we went through, we just kind of, and the same thing on all these, maybe a body is a millimeter or two longer than it should be, or, or we think it should be or something like that. And so it's a really difficult process and, and we don't take it lightly, I, agree, I can assure you. So anyway, on to the winners, because that's what we're here for. And so 
uh, this one is, this was really, really, really close. And so uh, the top three, the number one, uh, I believe Jackson won last week, didn't he? Jackson, uh, he won, that was number one. That's number, the, the fly right here, number two. Uh, it's a Wally wing, quill body, uh, parachute, the hackles perfect, the tails were split perfect. Uh, proportions were absolutely, and this was, these were really, these top three were really, really tough. Uh, number two, second place, and by the way, in the youth division, it's $150 for first place. Uh, second place is $100, and third is $75 gift certificates. Second place is Gavin Ruta. That was number four. This is, again, all three of these are Wally winged. Uh, this is an extended body parachute. Tails are set perfect. Everything's beautiful. Uh, number three is Justin Hardy. This one right here. Another uh, uh, Wally wing, quad Wally wing. Absolutely stunning. Uh, everything, these flies were so close. It, it, you know, just it's so hard to, to, to break these things down. But that's our winner. So number one is Jackson from last week or last month, I mean. Number two is Gavin. And number three is Justin Hardy. And so, uh, again, incredible work, unbelievable work. And, and everybody here said the same thing. Man, you know, we could put those guys in the adult and, and the gals, whichever. Uh, they, were, they were spectacular. So everybody's, that's the youth division. Uh, the adult division, I, I, when you see this thing, when you do the close-up, and again, you can do the people's choice. We're not going to make people writing in on that. It's like we've had like five people, so it's probably a mute point for, or uh, a moot point. Who said that on Friends? Right? <laughs> Stick with the program. It's, it's a moot point. Stick with the program. Stick with the program, Gallup. Shut up, Beaver. All right, well, I'm going to take a break. The adult thing was we brought out the jeweler's glasses, and that was the tiebreaker, by the way. That was the thing that... Uh, we were looking these things over, and again, on this judge, we go for clean. It, it's got to be perfectly clean, right? If the fly has any faults, it's a, that's gonna, it takes a point away. And then we've got to go for uh, the, the degree of difficulty, and, so, and, then, and then some originality. Uh, all that stuff comes into it, right? And so for, for us, until we get an absolute, you know, boilerplate, you know, scorecard, which we haven't done yet, but, and so before I uh, go on, I just want, that's what I was saying, is that we went on to this, and we're kind of going back and forth, and some of these flies are minuscule, right, and so we put these things on, and we discovered things like secondary uh, wing pads that we didn't know, because nobody saw it without these things on, and so it was, it was really, it was, I, I don't know how, to, and every single one of these, uh, not every single one, uh, I think there's three that don't, were Wally winged, uh, incredible work, artistic, and so some of them were, were just, it's just crazy. So I'm just going to go through these, you can see them right here, and we'll show you the close-up. And in, in, in to, to the point we said before, it doesn't need, necessarily have to be a giant fly with lots of detail. And that's what happened on this one because we had some originality and uh, we had a lot of degree of difficulty. The problem with the degree, the degree of difficulty is it can come with a little bit of this or that, you know, tilted this way or that way. And it, it's just so hard to, to judge that. So anyway, onward. And so first place, um, which, and to the point, and I'm going to have Johnny do a super close up on this fly. And it's kind of not a fly. It's kind of a cluster fly. And it's a, I've never seen anything like it. And it's the biggest fly is an 18 and the other ones are 20s. And that was, a, and I'm going to kill your name. It's, a, it's John uh, Alasigowitsk, I think is how you say it. Um, and it's this little cluster of betas. And these things are absolute. There's three flies. These are, uh, these are tied on tippet. There's not a hook in this back too. You won't be able to see it until you see the close-up. Thread bodies uh, abs and dubbed body, absolutely perfect. There's not a piece on these things that wasn't absolutely perfect. It's a unique concept. Heads are perfect. Wings are perfect. Bodies are perfect. And when you set these flies down and you, 
you won't be able to see it, but there's this, there's three of them here until we do the close up. The back two flies hover exactly off the water. It's absolutely stunning. It's, it's crazy. They're not that complex, but the way that he set them, there, it's everything on it was absolutely, if we could not find it's only two flies got zero, zero, didn't have any deductions on them. Second place is Chase Skype, Skypel, uh, 15, where is it? Right here. This thing, this was complete degree of difficulty. Most incredible leg sets. Um, this thing was, and this, you know, these were really close. This is a really close one because the flies got secondary, secondary wing pads, Wally wings. The, the, the tails are perfect. The body's there. Everything's there. It's just, you know, we can only find a little bit, one thing, one little tilted one way. And it was just, this was the hardest thing. We went on, there's four flies on here that we went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And we just kept going, what can we find? And the third one is uh, uh, number 27 right here. This is uh, third place. This is Dave Powell. Uh, absolutely, this is probably the most unique. It's a pair. It's a mating pair. Uh, it's, it's a male and a female. And Drakes. Drakes, green drakes. And they're both Wally winged. The wing sets are staggering. I mean, everything on it. The only thing that we we couldn't figure out if we should judge it as one or two, and in, and it was like it's two flies, but it's one fly. It's articulated, and it's got you can see it. It's got a the wings are set uh, absolutely stunning. The only thing we could find is one body was a little little bent this way, and the, I mean a single deduction. Tail sets are perfect. The the radius on the body is unbelievable you know different colored eyes on the bugs it's just staggering the, the the cdc work on it is frighteningly good it was just it was just so hard but the only you know it just it was incredibly difficult to get between these any one of them and then there was another one that was right this number 23 which was uh mark schweitzer's of switzerland uh this thing it was virtually flawless. And the only thing that we could, actually it is flawless. The only thing we could come in and say secondary wing pads underneath. Uh, the only thing we could come up with are synthetic wings. And so it was degree of difficulty, but staggering. And then there we have the other two things that we came up with. And we're trying to figure out how to put this into the program is that we came up with a, and we're going to send, we can't figure out what we're going to send out for this the most the fly we most wanted to fish and it's a tandem there's we came up with these together and it's number 20 the number 22 this fly is it's absolutely gorgeous the degree of difficulty is just a little less than the other ones uh it just but it's flawless i mean you can't make a fly better than this that was 22 that's uh mike uh falkenbury Burry. uh best packaging also unbelievable package this guy came in it's got to be an engineer thing is suspended in air on rubber bands it was it was very cool but uh and then the number uh 28 that was patrick um uh, hedberg and and he's from sweden and another guy's from switzerland uh number 23 so that was this guy's from sweden uh this fly the th these are the two flies that if we were looking in here and we keep saying, well, I don't know if that fly would fish, but we didn't really designate that. If we had two flies that we were picking, it was going to be those two for fishability and just want, and we thought, I mean, Johnny was going to steal this one, I'm sure, and just take it out and fish this thing for the drakes. I can assure you that fly is getting knocked off to go fishing. It won't, <laughs> we can't take yours, but we're going to do it. But these things, we're sending out stuff for gift certificates for those two as well. So. And uh, the, so the winners on this one, we're gonna show, you'll see it on here too. The winners on number, the first place is an Echo. It went to, it was the Trout. It's the Echo Trout Rod now. Uh, number two is a Silver Cape and $150 gift certificate. Number three is the MFC Boat Box. I'm reading it so I don't get it wrong. And Guideline Sunglass or Guideline Sunglasses. That'll all roll down in there. And so everybody will see it. And as usual, we're sending out uh, the gifts were taken to everyone in the youth for the 25 bucks, right? We sent every, all the youth division gets a 25 
the winners get theirs, and then everybody else gets a $25 gift certificate. So, next week is Caddis, I believe, or next month, the 15th. Uh, Caddis Division, we have, I think right now, we already have over 50 division in the, it's Caddis Pupa. We have over 50 in that already. Staggering flies. I mean, I haven't looked at all of them yet, but uh, man, there's some, it's the same thing. So, anyway, I hope everybody's enjoying it. Hope you're all safe and healthy out there. Uh, remember, you've got until the 15th of uh, March to get your Caddis in. And the final one's going to be the Sculpin. And that will be the 15th of April. So that's the end of this one. Thank you very much to everybody. I, I just can't, I can't tell you how, how impressive these flies are. And we're getting tons of positive response from everybody. It's really cool. So I hope you enjoyed it. And see you next week or next month.